Now the genius six of Wadara Basic School have emerged victors in the Ghana Science and Tech Explorer Prize G-Step uh, Exhibition Challenge. More than 800 submissions were received from junior high schools in the Great Accra and the Shanti regions to compete, but 50 schools made up of four to six teams uh, were selected for the G-Step Exhibition Challenge. The Tech Fanatic students showed off their ideas using technology to solve societal problems. We have more in the following report. Press on the siren here. That will create the awareness of a driver so that the person will stop. This is illuminated child road safety device displayed by the Junior Six of Udera Basic School during the exhibition session at the G-Step Challenge. This device has a safety signpost indicating children crossing and an arm-like stop sign with lead inscribed in the writings of the stop sign. It works by holding the shaft of the stop sign to alert incoming vehicles to stop for school children to cross. The team demonstrated how the device works and then detach the IC RSD from a socket project the hand towards the road like there's just enough to be seen by the driver then switch on the um, button to display the stop sign which is quite visible at night the team explained to join use what informed their decision the close proximity of our school to the Okonfanochi emergency unit poses great danger to our students as sometimes our pupils are knocked down by vehicles. So we saw that there was indeed the need to bring into materialization this product and incorporate with that also. A very similar incident happened in Kumasi Islamic Senior High School where um, the students had a clash with their drivers and police because they complained the drivers knocked down their students as they attempted to cross the road. All 50 schools exhibited a prototype of the device they have built. Okay, this is called COP 1.1 LPG leakage detector. And we developed this thing as a result of the death of our dear colleague, who is called Kofi Oparibia Phyllis. She lost her life as a result of gas explosion. Cow dung, grinded orange peels, grinded sawdust, lemongrass oil and neem leaves. So all these materials were mixed together with wax so the wax is what has made it compacted like this so we pour the mixture in a test tube and when it's got dry we removed it so you just this is how you use it you light it draw a few of the liquid and stick it to the saucer and put it at a place where it will not come into contact with anything that can bend the smart cane specially and purposely made for young visually impaired teenagers like us Okay. So what this does is that it senses obstacles in the part of the visually impaired and then it signals them by vibrating. Speaking to join News, the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Osei Duchum, said government is ready to give grants through commission for technical and vocational education and training to private companies willing to support students. We have a grant program through CTVET that will give money to companies that want to commercialize this. And when I say give money, it's not a loan, grant. So it's just a question of facilitating that space. So it's not going to be that because we don't have money, we're not able to commercialize. There's funding for companies to commercialize what they have invented. So that's what makes me excited. That it's no longer a talk shop. There's a do shop where you can really do some big things because there's funding available uh, for us to accomplish that goal. He added that the education sector has chalked many successes, but there are still challenges. Prince Ousu and Sen's report read to you.